Hello everybody, this is Zach from Life in the Fat Lane and I am on a journey to lose 100 pounds in 2020. Today I am going to show you the different things that I like to choose from when I'm having breakfast. So if you aren't hungry, you will be. Zachary Mitchell. Today I'm going to show you some of the options that I have for breakfast. As many of you know who follow my channel, I do, uh, I'm doing intermittent fasting right now and the keto diet, so I don't eat breakfast in the morning, but technically any meal that's breaking your fast is, is your breakfast. So that is what we are going to talk about today. However, I am sticking primarily to breakfast type items. Part of the reason why I'm a large man is because I'm a lazy man and I don't like to take a lot of time to do things when it comes to food. So one of the quickest breakfasts that you can possibly have and kids like is, I'll give you time to guess, you're wrong, it's cereal. So on the keto diet, there's a couple different cereals that I have and I'm not gonna lie, one of them is my roommate's cereal, but I had a bowl of it yesterday and it's delicious, but it's this high key protein cereal. This one is the fruity flavor and it's supposed to be like fruity pebbles and gosh darn it, it's super good. The aftertaste is kind of weird when you're expecting fruity pebbles and you get this, but I like weird and it still tastes delicious. And I'm not a big, I'm not a big chocolate person but there is a cocoa flavor too that it's not even open because ain't nobody got time for that. Another cereal option that's out there uh, is the Magic Spoon cereal. And this is also the fruity flavor and I really like this too. As far as tasting like your regular cereals, it does also have a little bit of, a, of an aftertaste to it, but it is, it is good. Uh, they have several flavors now, and I am super excited to try some of those other ones. I just haven't bought any uh, recently. Uh, compared to regular boxes of cereal, it does get kind of expensive to eat this, but if you're sticking to the portion sizes that it tells you to, like you should be, like you should be, then this will last you quite some time. And you could, they have four box packs, and that's really nice. And of course, when I'm eating cereal, I am using unsweetened almond milk. This is vanilla unsweetened almond milk. And that's nice because this has less than one total carb per serving. So this goes a long way for me. Another thing that I like to make if I'm on the run or just looking for something quick to eat are these Jimmy Dean egg scrambles. There is two grams of carbs per container and actually what I like hold up, is I get these mission, mission control, mission control to Major Tom, uh, these mission car balance tortillas. I like to take those, make up one of these, and then I have some nice quick uh, breakfast burritos. So that's fun. Another thing that I really like, and this is probably my go-to uh, if, if I'm kind of hungry in the morning, these Premier Protein shakes. We got banana. We got strawberry. I haven't mixed them together yet to make strawberry banana, but I'm certain that that's delicious. Shake them up, drink them up. And yeah, so each one of these has three grams of carbs. Yeah, each one of them has three grams of carbs per uh, bottle here. 30 grams of protein in both, 160 calories, and they are delicious. So we got those. And the last quick breakfast idea that I have for you is the Mac Daddy of all keto products. It is my favorite keto product that I have found, but that's Keto Chow. This is the Strawberry Keto Chow. It's a meal replacement shake. It's actually a Soylent, so you could, you could technically have this for three meals a day and you'll get all the nutrients that you need in your keto diet. I like to mix it up and have one a day, uh, whether it be for you know my breakfast or lunch, and then have a regular dinner. 
All right, so there you have it, folks. That is a quick look into what I like to have for breakfast. Once again, when I'm doing intermittent fasting, my breakfast isn't until noon every day. So that's gonna consist of these breakfast items. Sometimes it'll consist of, like I said, a steak or whatever my normal lunch meal would be. And that's okay, that's not unusual. It's just weird to think of it as a breakfast, but technically that's what it is. What else? What else, Dane? Uh, a couple other things I didn't show you here today that I really like to have that are breakfast items. I typically have it more for dinner than for breakfast, except I guess if it's on the weekends. But omelets are my favorite thing, and that's honestly what I really wanted to make for you guys today. But um, I had a lot going on, and which if you've seen my videos, you kind of know some of what was going on. But I just didn't really have time to do that because I'm lazy, like I mentioned before, and didn't prepare. So I didn't prepare enough in time uh, to do that for this challenge, and maybe we'll still come up with a video. But I make a cheddar worst omelet, and it is absolutely delicious. It's one of my favorite things to eat. Um, and I didn't, I mean, I'm, I'm mentioning it, but I really wanted to give you the full experience of making it. Yes, I'm sure you, most of you know how to make an omelet, but it, it still looks good, and it's gonna make you hungry if you watch it. So there's that. And another thing that I really like is this zero net car bread from Aldi's. Aldi, I say Aldi's, uh, it's just gonna happen. Yeah, it's something. Um, but I buy breakfast sausage and I like to take sugar-free jam and make a breakfast sausage sandwich out of that. It is delicious. All right, so there you have it, folks. That is breakfast with Zach here on Life in the Fat Lane. All right, and I wanted to let you guys know that this is a video made part of, as part of a challenge from a YouTube group that I am a part of on Facebook. And it is a small channel, YouTube group of other like-minded weight loss channels. And I am super happy to be a part of that group and to compete in these challenges and to, to do these videos uh, to help educate you guys as well. This, this video is a collaboration with those folks. So in the description, I will have links to all the other videos as part of this challenge, and I would love it if you would take the time to go to the description and watch each one of those videos. Leave a like and a comment if you like what you're seeing or if there's anything in there uh, that you want to comment on. Also, this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you want to see more of what's going on. Check out my other videos. Check out my weight loss journey. That would be amazing if you could be a part of that. And I'm so glad that you are here today with me. Also in the description, there is going to be a link to a YouTube video that discusses the challenge and the uh, group that we are in. Click on that video in the description if you would like to take part in challenges like the one you're seeing right now. I'm really excited to see the other ones because maybe they have different ideas that might be super yummy. All right, thanks again for joining me today. My name is Zach and this is Life in the Fat Lane. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe like they always tell you and I always try to tell you to do. Um, if you feel so inclined, take a look at the videos that this is recommending on whichever side it's going to be on. I don't know because I haven't mastered that yet. 